grade. Welcome back. Doing some more Bible today. We're continuing to talk about Biblical Truth 18. I'll pull it out. I'm going to take a look at it and I'm going to read it to you. It says, God created his image bearers to rule over the earth. And as an image bearer, that includes you. You get to rule over the earth. I want to read to you this passage in Genesis. It's in Genesis chapter 1. I'm reading verses 20. Uh, 26 and 27 it says so God created man in his own likeness he created him in the likeness of God he created them as male and female and then in verse 28 God blessed them he said to them have children and increase your numbers fill the earth and bring it under your control rule over the fish in the waters and the birds of the air rule over every living creature that moves on the ground. So that word stewardship, the ability to rule, to have dominion, that cultural mandate that God has given us as his image bearers starts in the first chapter of Genesis, his first command to his people. So grab your Bible workbook. Let's talk a little bit more about Truth 18 together. I'll meet you behind the screen. Okay, truth 18, slide my workbook over here, part two. Okay, it wants us to unscramble the definition of dependability and write it on the lines. Maybe you hear a little word inside the word dependability. Do you hear the word depend? If you did, nice work. So if someone can depend on you, what does that mean? means they can count on you, right? It means that you're going to be true to your word. So dependability is an ability to finish everything that others ask me to do. And they have it all mixed up. Me ability to everything that an others ask to finish do. So let's write down the correct definition of dependability. An ability to finish everything that others ask me to do. Dependability, you say it. Nice work, the little word depend is inside the word dependability. So as God's image bearers, there's things that he depends on us to do, okay? To help steward his earth, his creation, to take care of it. So let's take a look at number two. What are the things that God depends on his image bearers to do? We have plant and harvest crops, cause the sun to rise, replant forests after cutting, build roads and bridges to carry supplies, use water wisely, control the movement of the tides and waves, Fill the earth with people, fill the seas with fish, build homes to fit the climate. Let's underline the things that God depends on us to do. I'm going to give you a few seconds. Pause this video. I want you to underline. What do you think? What does God depend on us to do? Once you've done that, tune back into the video. Okay, you should have some things underlined. What are some things that God depends on his image bearers to do? Plant and harvest crops. Yeah, we need that. We need food. We need to take care of the earth. He also depends on us to replant forests after cutting. So we, we get to use trees to make things, but we wouldn't be a good steward if we never replanted trees to grow. Because eventually, if you continue to chop trees without replanting, you're going to run out of trees, right? So that's one way to be responsible with God's creation. Another thing that he depends on his image bearers to do is use water wisely, which makes sense. Just like trees, if we use up all of the water and are not giving it back, it can only rain so much uh, in order <laughs> before, it, before it runs out. Next. Fill the earth with people. Yeah, that was one of God's commands. He 
um, said to have kids and fill the earth with people. And crazy, there's over 7 billion people in the world. That's one of his commands. One of the things that he depends on us to do. Does he depend on us to fill the seas with fish? Negative. What about build homes to fit the climate? Yeah, totally true. Um, building homes to fit the climate just means depending on where you live, that you are building a home um, that's going to um, fit your surroundings, right? Not, not hurt and damage, damage the earth. Okay. You today on your own, I want you to look up Genesis chapter 9, verses 1 through 3, which is a part in the story of Noah, maybe you've heard of him, and use those verses to answer these questions, these two questions. Move on to number 5 today, you're going to check the pictures that show wise management of the earth's resources. We've talked about that in science, there's different types of resources, there's natural resources, um, things that naturally appear in the earth, they can't be reproduced. Um, so of those things, if you're managing a resource, it means that you're taking care of it. So check the pictures that show wise management of the earth's resources. Okay, good luck. You're going to do great.